how to play the game. This controller's a piece of shit. Fuck shit, dicks, cocks, ass, balls. Fuck cocks, dicks, ass. Kojima's a fucking cocksucker. Bullshit! Oh my god. What? I never failed the mission. I'm gay, I'm gay, I'm gay. Oh! All right, John, are you ready for this? What is it? I don't know it's if you're ready, ready for it. Probably not. I don't know. What is it? I think that we need to basically put Microsoft's boasts to the test. Really? Per se, yes. Oh. We need to see whether or not the fact that they... Microsoft always tells the truth. They mandatorily included... <laughs> They're a giant, wholesome company. <laughs> mandatorily included the Kinect. You had to buy it with the Xbox One. You couldn't get a version without it. If you want to go with a power-up gesture, raise your knee high and stamp your foot. You were listening, right, John? You, no. you got everything you said, right? You played most of the Kinect games, right? Oh, doing it right now? Yeah. How do you do it? He just told you. This is going to work. Oh, oh my. my. Probably the bottom. I don't know. We can't, it's not going to work, dude. Get this table here. It's fine. It all needs to see is our hands. That's it. It's not gonna work, bro. We're going too far this way. Ooh, oh, it's got bit. me. It's hard to tell. <laughs> what is it looking at? I have no idea. No, it won't work. Yeah, because we're too much shit. Well, then we're not playing it. <laughs> it's not gonna work. You gotta be kidding me. At least see your feet. How's it gonna get to your feet? It doesn't need your feet. You're he just showed it his feet. No, it didn't. It's upper torso only. He showed you like this and you kick. No, he didn't. Yes, he did. No, he didn't. All right. He said you right hand, you close or open to go forward or back. He said left hand, you don't do anything with, but you move your hands back and forth like this to turn and you can lean your body like this. There's nothing with the feet whatsoever in this game. All right, I don't know. Try. I don't know. So I'm a, pretty sure you're dead. So a game that has nothing whatsoever to do with feet, you have to. I see think he said we watched the tutorial. Well, then we're not. Why then we're not playing this? I'm pretty sure he said you have to stomp with your foot. It's impossible then, because we don't have. Yeah, we don't have a clear living room. We don't. We don't have, have to, to move, this, move this entire I'm not moving, fucking. Table. Yeah, I'm not moving the fucking table. Forget that. And unlike, and this is the thing, guys. For those of you who used to watch us when we did our our Connect stuff with the Xbox 360. We used to, remember, we used to turn the connect and then clear yeah, out the end the of the room? room. There, yeah. We can't do that anymore because this connect doesn't turn. This connect doesn't even have an axis that you can turn it on. So we can't even turn it. What? Uh... Wow. Well, forget this then. Forget it. It's over. You start, is there another mode to it? Like a different game? I guess not because that's what started when we, when we started up. Look. <clears throat> now I won't even, look, now I won't even find my fucking hand. If you rotate the entire television over there. Yeah, it's not going to work. Forget this. Seriously. Here. Well, I know what game not to buy. Lift your feet like this. With your four hands lift like your, that. Yeah, lift your, your feet up <laughs> onto the table. Yeah. This is fucking stupid. So right off the bat, the Kinect epically fails. Right off the bat. You have to have a complete... Um clear area which is which is what microsoft said you don't need they said that this will be a better connect it'll react better and you don't need a huge area to play the game in anymore they completely lied wow no i can't move this table you told me to move the table yeah i'm moving this fucking it's table forget that shit oh i'm the freaking asshole i'm funny <laughs> and now our feature presentation uh, I myself am a former pro fighting game player. Alright guys, last 20 minutes. Violent Ken, are you guys surprised? Violent Ken. And look at his points. Well, I'm done. Say goodbye to the streak. One. Fight. Wow. Can't do anything. Can't do anything. Can't do anything. What the fuck? It's such garbage. It's such a terrible fucking player, and these people suck monkey shit. They don't understand Street Fighter. They cheat to win. Can't do anything because of the lag. Can't do anything because of the lag. Round three. Fight. 
No lag. Oh my god! I can't do anything. Look. Get the fuck out of here! I couldn't do a thing. He literally just said throw, 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 dragon punch, throw. Bullshit! What the fuck, dude? This game is fucking shit. I hate this fucking game. I can't wait to never play it again. Worst fucking player possible. Terrible piece of fucking garbage player doesn't understand how to play Street Fighter. You will have nothing to play next week, you fucking scrub. Nothing. You'll have nothing to play. Dude, come on! Get the fuck out of here! Can't do anything! Look at the damage! Get the fuck out of here! <laughs> Complete trash gameplay. It's so ridiculous. Nothing I can do. Can't do anything! Nothing. Nothing I can do. Nothing I can do! Look! That's all you have to do with, with fucking Kenny. He's no skill at all. This guy has no skill. No spacing, no combos, no actual footsies. Just, I will teleport and then do random movements every time, every round. You can't do anything about it. The game fucking sucks. This guy is the worst fucking player. And I swear to fucking God. That if they ever make a game this bad again, with this kind of shit in ranked play, I will boycott it. The only reason I played this game this year is because there was nothing else available for Classic Street Fighter. But this game is a piece Round of fucking one, shit. Fight. Nothing I can do. I couldn't do anything! I couldn't do anything! This game sucks. I hate it. I fucking hate it. Why am I toxic?! Terrible player. Nothing I can do! Look at this! Nothing you can do! You just can keep doing it. Look, I have no defense against it. Look at this. I know there's no defense. You can't block, you can't counter. And the idiots who made this game didn't know that because they're all fucking morons who are terrible at games. Look at that, what? Nothing I could do, I couldn't punish it. I can't block. I can't do anything. Get the fuck Can't do anything. Put it the wrong way. This game sucks. He three straight wins, completely Five, unearned. No win. skill. Just teleport, random move. Teleport, random move. Like anyone couldn't fucking do that. Just buy a game out of the box. Teleport, random move. Teleport, random move. But the idiots who made this game are that fucking stupid. Anyone who worked on that fucking broken ass V Ken literally should never be employed again in making fighting games. Like they should never even be allowed to touch a keyboard. That has to do with a fighting game. I mean, you have to be the dumbest motherfucker on the planet to think that is valid gameplay. Holy. <laughs> and he throws a fireball predictably. Bullshit! Every fucking scrub is the same shit, and you can't do anything about it because of lag online. Look, what do I do? I can't do a damn thing. Oh, brother, this guy stinks! Wow. Amazing gameplay, riveting, amazing high-level gameplay from this guy. I wish I could be this fucking guy one day. Wow, this is a great game. Holy Miltank, it takes way more money between travel, entering tournaments, paying for food, and room and board 
and the time investment to be good at a fighting game than what you make playing a fighting game. Even if I had top sponsorship, which I'll never get, and all of that, it wouldn't be worth it. He's like, why don't you get back into the fighting game community? I live on the West Coast. You'll make a lot of money. Like, dude, you're, I'll make no money. I'll lose money. Wow. A few moments later. And then Holy Mill Tank says, well, that viewpoint you're setting up for failure. No, with that viewpoint, I'm being a mature adult who's done it before. Remember, I played in tournaments for the greater part of a decade. I know exactly what it's like, and I don't fall into this over-romanticized view that being a top player at a fighting game is some amazing thing to aspire to, and you're going to make tons of money and be an e-celebrity. In reality, it's a crazy-ass fucking grind, and it ain't worth it. And it's not me just being negative, it's me being there trying it in the past and knowing what it really is. This guy's at a major disadvantage picking Sagat. Round one, fight! Yep, nice. I didn't do that. I don't know what happened. What? Get the fuck out of here! I don't know what happened. It was like some of the moves he was doing, I was countering them and then nothing would happen. And he'd just get like a stuffed move or something. Really weird. Round two. Oh my god. What? Didn't do anything. What the fuck? Why is he get a free throw? Come on! That was a guess. That was a fucking guess. It was still a good match. That was a 100% guess. He didn't know that was going to work. He was hoping I was going to poke something out there to throw it out. And he knew if he did it, that if I counter hit him, I couldn't kill him. Uh, I hate I hate losing to a guess, but it was still a good fight. Good stuff. I don't like how all of a sudden in the middle, when we're up next to each other, the game's slowing down, slowing down, and now he's just like mashing, getting throws and shit. That pisses me off, but it was still a good matchup. Good match. My final match ever will be a zero bar connection. I love it. Not not one, not two, zero. Zero bar connection against a fucking violent Ken. Would you have it any other way, guys? Wow. Honestly. One. Fight. Dude, it's so delayed. I might just put the controller down. Can't do anything. Can't do anything. I literally, he just got non-stop attacks. I couldn't block a single thing he did. It wouldn't let me do it. It's too delayed. <laughs> wow. Wow. Can't block. I tried. It doesn't work. I told you, this is it. This is the epitome of Ultra Street Fighter 2. Monster lag and a guy just doing fucking teleport, fucking attack and teleport sweet. That's the whole game. If anything, this is very, very representative of what the entire life of the game has been. A piece of shit. Made by a hack dev team who didn't know what the fuck they were doing when they made these three new characters. Yeah, three new characters. Fucking idiots. There's no way to there's no way to, to beat it consistently because this the lag is too bad. Kuma, it's the final match. You've got to run to Akuma. You have to. Bullshit. Round one. Fight. I couldn't move. Lock me in place. Nope. Look at that. Look at that nonsense. Wow! 
Can't move! Get the fuck out of here! Everything the super, the game's over because of the delay. You cannot do anything about it. It's a free super. Every fucking time you use it, it's a free super. That's it. Good riddance to bad fucking rubbish. No one should ever play this game ever fucking again. It's an abomination to what is supposed to be fucking Street Fighter. The people who made this game didn't understand actual Street Fighter. They just threw in three garbage characters because they're a bunch of fucking idiots who wanted to make money on the Switch. The game is a piece of fucking petrified dog shit. I'm never playing it again. Thank God we've got a new version of the classic Street Fighters coming out next week. I'm done. That's it. Sticking a fork in Ultra Street Fighter 2. Goodbye. Good fucking go goodbye, good night, good luck. It's over. I never have to play this fucking stinky piece of crap ever again. Ever. Ever. I never have to fight VKen or Evil Ryu or Kuma ever again. want me to delete the game but I, I can't even get to the menu without getting up because there's no home button on this controller it's made for the Wii U not for the, the switch and there's no way to, to leave the game so I should have to get up over here yeah I think I should do this and then actually software update manage software there it is delete delete get the fuck out Sorry. of here Done. No more. I will never, ever play that game again. Thank God I'm done with it. Thanks to everyone for the past year who watched me play Ultra Street Fighter 2 and put up with that laggy, broken, unbalanced piece of garbage game. At least we got, uh, you know, a lot of a classic dose of classic Street Fighter, which was good. It sucks that version was one of the worst ever made in human history, but it's done with. We don't have to deal with this ever again. And we can now go to a better version in the Anniversary Collection coming out shortly. Thank you everyone for watching. Whether you watch live on stream, you watch on demand on YouTube, you were watching today, you were watching over the course of the last year. That is it for Ultra Street Fighter 2. We could all forget it ever effing existed. Thank God because man, was that game terrible. Alright, thanks everyone. Fuck that bullshit. Fuck you. I'm done. I'm play with us. Dark Side Phil. What? Worthless humans, fuck you, fucking piece of shit. Forever. No. Forever. Oh my god. <laughs>